Hello out there, how y'all doing tonight? I am here to play some Animal Crossing. It's been a minute, it's been a while. It's been almost a whole week since I've streamed it. I've been playing it here and there, but I haven't streamed it. But tonight we're gonna be doing some catch-ups. My island is a little disheveled. Some things to do, some weeds to pick, and flowers to pull up. Little odds and ends. And then um, if people are around, I'm going to start a viewer island visit queue. So I'm going to go ahead and launch that right now. Let's see. Hope y'all are having a good Monday night. Or a good Monday period. Hopefully it's ending well for this Monday night. We are going to be doing some stuff. Typical Animal Crossing stuff. Let's see. Opening up a queue. One Q, open Q, viewer island visits. We'll do six. Bam. There we go. All right. So we'll just hop right to it. Get a nice cute outfit on. Oh, look, I still have all my little stuff up. What do I need to take down? We need to take down the blocker and our little Among Us guy from Kylie. We don't need him up tonight. All right, we're ready. We're ready to go. Uh, let's see. First things first. Cute outfit. We're in our skivvies right now. Gotta find something cute. Let's see. A wintry day, but it's gonna be an active wintry day. Maybe we go white jean jacket vest, white denim vest. I kind of like that. I wish there was white torn jeans. That would be cute. There's not though. We have just plain white jeans and black cutoffs. Black and white denims just doesn't make much sense to me. You know what? That's good. We can roll with that. Let's go like semi-warm. Wear like a cute warm hat maybe. Then we'll do like a pink pair of glasses and some pink shoes. I think that's pretty good simple and cute I don't have many pink glasses do I not really not really at all let's do purple socks pink shoes Hey, Larev. Good evening. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, these pink shoes are cute. I think those are those are pretty decent boots. Kind of want to do a little purple bag. Good. Glad to hear you're doing well. Hopefully Monday has been swimmingly laid back for you. Just real chill. I mean, the knitted bag doesn't really go with denim. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing really well. I had a chill day. I didn't do too much. I took a couple photos of my painting that I finished last night and um, just laid about. <laughs> just laid about. I had some leftovers today. My husband made jambalaya for me last night. Well, for us. It wasn't really for me. But I just had some. And it was tasty. I wish this had a white strap. Not many purple bags. The only purple bag I really have is the knitted. The hand knit pouch. Not really cutting it for me. It was good. Yeah, it was really good. 
You know what? Maybe just no bag. If I feel like they're not cutting it, we're just going to do no bag. Like, slightly active. I can still work up a sweat, but stay warm. We're good. I gotta do some cleanups. Yes. <laughs> I got a space room. I got, like, a party room. My main room's kind of like the party's left. I'll give you a mini house tour real fast, since you're new. <laughs> um, that's my main room. It's like a nice after party we've got an icy bathroom because you know all the snowflakes we got this season <gasps> hey andrew this is the crossing of the animals game got my little bathroom over here yes frozen goodness over here we have our kitchen how you doing andrew I stayed up super late last night finishing my painting, but it was so worth it. Oh, the Rev, thank you. Thank you for the follow. This is my industrial kind of modern kitchen. The nipple painting, yes. The nipple painting is done. She's complete. Here, I'll show it because I have it set up to show. I got set up to show off today because I feel so proud. Here she is. There she is. She's done. We got the manual bar on there because we can move her around. Ooh. She's done. She's a finished piece. Yeah, I paint as well occasionally. <laughs> hey, Alex. Yep, that's my kitchen. Hey, Chroma. I've been kind of busy in my town this week, though. Y'all are going to be like, you've changed more in your town off stream than maybe in the past, like, four months. This is my upstairs, my rainbow explosion room. We got, before they took away posters and made them DLC. Um, paid DLC. We got a bunch. Larev is new and has never seen my house, so mini house tour. These two little paintings you see here are... Um, two actual paintings that I've done. I'll zoom in on them. I love doing this part of the tour. It's my favorite part These two paintings are based off paintings. I've done in real life, which I'm about to show you. I Love doing this. It's my favorite part of this game giving tours uh, Let's see. So the one on the little board with the pink bucket is this one here Just the the um, circle part not the whole thing and then the other one, the one that is on the easel underneath rolled, is, where is it? This one here. This one right here. That's the one. And that's my painting. So happy with your entrance, you've been working on it. Nice. So pretty, thank you. Yes, I'm not shy about color. But yeah, this is my little creative space in game. My character needs his little creative respite. You have so many drops on your island. Still working on your island. It's a lot. I had to put a bunch of flowers on my beach. This is my bank vault, which is loaded with fossils to hand out right now. This is my... I didn't feel like decorating it room, so I kept it extremely minimal. We've got uh, secret top secret chemicals and bunches of money. This is where we did uh, turn up predictions. Strike it big. Yeah, I did a bunch of rearranging, so I had a ton of flowers to dig up, and I just haven't... I haven't um, had a chance to, like redistribute them. I might not keep most of them. Chemicals. What kind of chemicals? I don't even know. I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you. They're top secret. I was just paid a buku bunch of money to put them in my basement. Dangerous chemicals. 
taking orders. Yeah, I'm taking orders. Hey, Cola Poppy. Two mailboxes. I so you can once you um get your house to the largest size, you can pick up your mailbox and put it somewhere else. So I just put both of these houses mailbox side by side. Like a little residential setup. So it's just a mailbox for both of these houses. You found Nate. Got it. Hey, congrats on finding Nate. That's awesome. That means I can strike you off the list. Did you find him on, like, an island or a campsite or something? Let's see. Where was my list? There it is. Nate. Cola Poppy. Done. Campsite. Nice. Alright, so we have made this just a big water area. There's no more, you can't walk over there from here. But this is open so you can still fish it. There's a fish up there. I have restructured this area. This is now fully paved. And this bridge is modern, not wood anymore. Then we have this area. So, um... This is now like a little seating area. Okay, you want two tiny TVs. Yeah, so Larev, my island name is Indigo. And everything here is blue, including all of my villagers, which you can't see behind me there. But I have Sherb, Julian, Blue Bear, Boris, Francine, Agent S. Zucker is a he being held for somebody. Flo, Pierce, and Hopkins. Sherb is so cute. I'll never get rid of him because he's a uh, he's a newbie. I can't find him through amiibo cards. Anyway, this is now like a little kind of island. So I I made a tiny little seating area here with a table. I don't know if I'll actually keep this mushroom table here, like a big bluish green mushroom. But this is all now an island. And there's no bridge to lead you down to the cranny. And then this is now a suspension bridge because I was able to change some bridges around. And then my campsite. So I shifted it one square and made it line up perfectly. And then I just kind of spaced things out more, made a little bit more water. Pinball machines, you got it. I made a little like fire pit area there. We got some bigger fencing. I moved the well back here again, because it feels like it just made sense. I'll send y'all some items here in a few. So I gotta do my little chores. I guess I could put some flowers back here again. I could, like, reline this area with some flowers. <clears throat> you need star bits. I actually need star bits, too. I used some star bits in a thing I made this week. Make some more Nova Lights. How's y'all's Animal Crossing week been? It's been so long since I've played Animal Crossing. Can't believe it, I went six days without streaming it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, we got some extra flour going on here. Yeah, I think I'm down to four star bits again. Yeah, Nova Lights are a good accent. They're pretty versatile in terms of, like, the theming that they they work with, you know? Yeah, and they have a lot of color variants. So many roses. I want to do something cuter with this area, but I'm not sure things... I don't know. Kind of cute as a little rose garden. Hey, kinky. Just designing the island is stressful. It really is. I like playing around with it. I did a lot of my outdoor designing very, very early, and I've kind of left it very static. Just waiting for the Pave announcement trailer. I know. It's hap It's got to be happening in February, right? We should literally be getting it like any day now. Anyway, this is the full school. The school is fully decorated now. Isn't it pretty? Oh, 
It's our college campus. So this is the main campus. We got our little gas station, of course, that has not changed. And then this is the art building. Somebody get ooh, somebody gave me a King Tut mask. I'm assuming that's for me. <laughs> I have a feeling it's coming tomorrow. Tomorrow would be great. Yeah, I gleaned the inspiration for that building off of Instagram. But I switched it up slightly. But I really can't take credit for it. I did do the pixel art myself, but this is basically a ripoff of the pixel art they used. I didn't change much of it. But I did do a brick pattern on the, the windows instead of just like plain white. So it's a little more, looks a little more like brutalist. Um, so now back here, it doesn't connect with a bridge, but you can still vault pole over there if you want to. And then this has got like a little secret area back here and behind the cranny. Then, this is what I've really been working on off stream. I made a little convenience store, Indigo Mart. I made another building. So we have a little, I guess it's kind of like the cranny, but obviously, you know. Special, and this is where I get all my orders from. This is where all your mail out orders come from. Yeah, behind the bleachers. Yeah, I just made like another little store to go by the cranny. Because why not, right? So that's where I used my Nova lights and lots. I had tons of leftover bookshelves from the. Uh, the college building. So I was like, I can use these. And then I had a bunch of stalls. I was like, how can I use these stalls? So I kind of played around with it. And made this little two-tiered building set up here. And then there's another secret little area behind it. I should have probably lined the floor of the, the areas with brick or whatever, but... I didn't. Anyway, yeah, now this is all water. This, So that's why I have so many flowers on the beach. This all used to be land, essentially. So now it's just all water and I have a whole beach full of flowers again. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Does anyone need flowers? I guess I should offer them up to anyone who wants them. Anybody? Amazon has competition with Indigo Mart. And yeah, oh yeah, and I made another bus stop over here. So this was just like a little station area by the museum with like a little stall and some chairs and stuff. So now it's like a little, another bus stop because I have another bus stop on the other side of this road. Maybe knives, that's true. Yeah, knives. I'm gonna get knives, um, Dobby and Bob again when they need them. But yeah, I made a second little bus stop on this side. I kind of want to get rid of more flowers, honestly. That could be like a nice thing. I could clean up pretty seriously. So yeah, I made two bus stops, so these now match each other. I got rid of the blue seats because I didn't have the ability to have two of those same kind. So I just made these two little benches instead. I did not touch the gallery at all. And now one of my rocks is over here, which that'll have to change. That will be changed when it's time to put a, if, if I put another building here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll check Discord, my bad. Um, I was thinking on that little island by the campsite, I might put a building there. Because I left, I think I left room to fit a building in there, but I'm not sure it'll actually fit. Let me get these weeds before I go check Discord. How much space do I have? Oh, I have plenty of space. Thought I was getting low already. I really want to get Pierce out of here. Maybe I should go give him a fossil. 
Um, but yeah, another building, I guess. We'll go here, and then another building on the little island, just north of the cranny. I'm pretty sure I left room for a building to sit right in there, but I'm not 100% positive it's going to actually fit. Animal Crossing Inspiration. Oh my god, that's so cute. Damn, that's really cute. See, if I, if I try to do windows that good, they just don't look that good. How do they make it look so good? Blows my mind a little bit. They also added something to it. The map looks nice. Thank you. Yeah, I really didn't alter the shape of the rivers too much pretty close to how it was when I first got it. I added like a big lake up here, which I'm thinking I might make this lake up here big again. Like, I don't know. I'm kind of just thinking of getting rid of these, this double staircase down to the beach and just making this a giant lake again. Hey, Haley, no worries. What's up? I don't know. There's still things that can be done, you know? Still things that can be done. Make it more buildings. Where could I even put that? I guess I could put it like down here if I don't put an actual house. It would have to be in a residential area. I do need something that kind of works as a domicile for all my NPCs. Well, they're they're playable characters, but like the art teacher, the community center attendant, Dish. Well, Dish has a live-in studio. Um, gallery. You know, I need like a little faux apartment building for them to live in. I gotta figure out a way to make an apartment building. That'll probably be one of my last projects. Oh. Yeah, they all need, like, they're gonna need something to live in. And it doesn't even have to be a building you can enter. It could just be, you know, like that. Just like a little multi-story building. Man, I haven't dug up flowers in forever. There's a lot of flowers to take care of. But yeah, all those characters need a place to live. Because their, their themed buildings do not have... I think an apartment building would be cute. Maybe I could take away... You know, I could get rid of the lake up here, but I like the lake up here. It just gives me so much extra room. Can you tell me what your turnip prices are tomorrow? Yeah, I'll check my turnip prices. You may have to remind me, though. Alright, we got some fossils up there. How many? Plenty of space for fossils. Oh, I put a little flag by Lucky's grave. Like, caution, do not step in. Caution flag. Holy moly, look at all these green mums. Damn it. Does anyone need green mums? <gasps> it's Sherb's birthday. Oh shit, I didn't. Oh my god, I gotta go say hello to Sherb. Hopefully he didn't go to bed already. Oh no, I can't get this. Can't get this damn fossil because of this setup. That's not good. Annoying, I don't want to go into construction mode just to get that. 
Doing another Mario Kart race on stream tomorrow. Nice. I can't believe you're never going to play with this again, Haley. I can't believe you are that salty. <laughs> salty Haley takes Mario Kart very seriously. It was frantic. I mean, frantic items just makes it a whole different beast. Not gonna lie. Oh my god, I gotta go give Sherb a gift. What am I gonna give him? Bry does 200cc? Oh my god, I can't do 200cc. Is that supposed to be easier? Because <laughs> it sounds harder. <laughs> oh, alright, let's pick up a few fossils. There's still quite a few animals out and about. And I guess I'll go give Sherb a gift if he's still awake. I could roll time back, you know? Give Sherb a halo. That's a good idea. I think I have a halo on me. Oh, no, we want to identify that. Oh my god, I'm, I think I'm just going to end up selling all these flowers on the beach. Nobody wants them. Because I do not need... There's just too many. We do get a bit of lag in this area now. This area is very built up. It's not terrible. It's not like some lag I've seen in other towns, but it's still slightly laggy. Rolled. Yeah, he doesn't look like a jock. He kind of... I feel like he was... Was he always a jock? I feel like he might have been a lazy or something in a previous game. Hey, Jacina. 18th of January. Um, it's... Oh god, yeah, it's only 30 minutes left on 18th of January. Alright, we need to do that, like, immediately. He's a lazy disguise. This is a jock. Agreed. Alright, do I have wrapping paper? Because I... The store's closed. I can always order another Halo. I don't wear it that much anyway. Where is that? There it is. I guess we don't have to wrap it, but it would obviously be better if it were wrapped. If Satan punishes the sinners, wouldn't that make him the good guy? I guess? Pretty murky. Oh, okay, I do have some wrapping paper. Crisis averted. I guess we can keep these for our fossils. You did tell me, Haley, but I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I haven't been playing to, like, do birthdays. I've just been doing my little building thing. I totally forgot. Hey! Pearly33, thank you for the follow. If you're lurking, enjoy that lurk. Oh! All right, Flo, I guess we'll come back to you. You have 40k points. Nice. Save it for 100k. I guess I'll have to think of some sort of ultimate 100k reward. All right, we've got all the fossils on hand. We've got those pre-wrapped fossils. Let's hand out some gifts. Is your island full? Chev is in boxes. Um, yeah, my island's full. I think I might have Chev's card. I feel like I got that card somehow. I think Willow maybe sent me that card. Chev's cute though. Chev's really cute. Oh, I love that you're trying to find Chev a good home instead of letting him just go to waste. Disappear into the void. Ask Pink to sing. I've already declared there's no singing. There's no dancing. <laughs> I'm a lame ass. 
Uh, what else is there none of? I don't know. I'm too much of a square for that. Trust. <laughs> I'm a huge fucking square, man. You like Chev? It's just her mouth. Which ones are these? Torso, tail. We don't need a trilobite. I don't think we need Anomalocaris. So we can wrap these three up to pass out. What is Chev? What is Chev's mouth? Is it even... What even, what even is it? I'm trying to think. It's just like nothing. Chev is a goat. She's a goat. She's got big anime eyes. Like big cutie anime eyes. Like big black sparkly eyes or whatever. Kind of like Judy. If I remember correctly. How many points for the OnlyFans link? Um, one million... No. Ten million points. Good luck with that. You'll be here the rest of your life. Or you can just look me up on OnlyFans and, and subscribe for $9.99 a month. That's what I'm worth, baby. $9.99 a month. <gasps> Sherby! Oh, he's here with Zucky. Oh my. Oh my god. Ah. Sherb is cutest goat. Don't tease me. Do you have a present for me? I do. You're gonna love it. You're an angel. Oh. What? This is a halo, right? I never dreamed I'd get something so darn neat. Thank you so much, Snorty. Thanks for the halo suggestion, Kinky. Hack the planet. I've never smushed my face into the cake. I gotta try that. Seems kind of obvious, really. She only wore $10 a month. Yes, but you can't ever cancel. Uh-huh. JJ, it's me, Zucker. Remember me, Zucker? Hi again. I live on this island now. I don't know why. It just kind of happened. Are you here so you can celebrate Sherb's birthday, too? <laughs> oh, man. I love his little prance. Do you think I look taller? I mean, than I did yesterday? I used to get taller on birthdays. Now I'm usually just wider. Mood. Mood, that's too real, Sherb. Too fucking real, man. Tone it down, bud. I'm so happy you're here to celebrate with me. Kick back, chill out, and enjoy my birthday party. Oh. Oh my god. By the way, I do have a queue open for visitor uh, island, viewer island visits. You can do exclamation point join. If anyone is interested. As soon as I'm done doing my little thing over here. I'll hop to it. Alright, we gave Sherb a gift. Alright, Pierce. Is this going to be the time you give me your photo? That'd be great. Give me a photo. Let's visit Chroma. I'll visit Chroma, exclamation point, joint. Cold Country Boonod. What the hell is that? That sounds crazy as hell. I ain't never heard of that. What? That's kind of interesting. Gives me like a Sergeant Pepper's kind of vibe. Cold Country Bonad. I'm sure I did not say that right. Interesting. Alright, Pierce. She's got fashion. It's like a full outfit. 
Oh wait, I'm not wearing pants. My pants. Oh, we got some purple roses here. It's under construction. Now that you got all those DIYs off your beach, you're like, let's let's do some things. Sure deserve that, Halo. That was a great suggestion. He's an angel. In disguise. Nintendo Online. <gasps> Expired. Oh, man. That sucks. Right? Yeah. That's fair. Can we toot and boot the island visits? Yeah, we can do polls. Or I could do predictions. Will pink toot or boot this island? I'm so nice, though. I can always find something I like about an island. No matter what. Oh my god, where did these weeds come from? Whoops. Whoops. The island doesn't have a Marshall boot. Aww. <laughs> uh -huh. Marshall. So you're gonna give my island a boot, Haley? Those might be fighting words. More inspo on Discord for spring. Bringing us spring collections. You know, I wish I liked the um, pixel art pools better than I do. Like, I was gonna do like an outdoor pool instead of like in the community center, but I ultimately don't really like pixel art pools that much. That's why I went with the, <clears throat> like the moving water floor. Oh, I have Sherb, okay, that's still a toot. Good. Because we were about to have a serious, some serious drama and conflama up in here. Alright, we're getting rid of these flowers, unless anybody wants them. I have a ton of green mums. I won't get rid of those yet, unless, you know. But I don't need any of these. In fact, I kind of feel like just going and gutting my island of a ton of flowers, but I'll probably regret it if I do that. I'll go too overboard and probably get rid of flowers that I don't mean to. <gasps> My outfit right now is a big fat boot. I mean, I was going for like warm, but also I'm going to be working up a sweat. So that's why I went with the denim vest instead of something cute, like extra cute, you know? We're working out in the yard, you know? But working out in the yard in the winter. It's like my snow shoveling outfit. How dare. Also, I'm really loving that I can cut through here now. <laughs> it's very nice. Oh, I had Gulliver? I didn't even notice. Guess I better give out these fossils too. Help this go a little quicker. Kind of want to keep this outfit that Pierce gave me. It was cuter than I thought it would be. Alright, some of them probably went to bed. Let's see, Pierce is still out. Sherb's birthday. Boris is dark. It brings all the boys to the yard, yeah. It's a statement. I'm not saying it's a, a good statement, but it is a statement. Champ, we're in the game, you wouldn't be stressing over who to replace Pierce with. 
There's always options. All right, Agent S, you're still up. Here. Somebody, uh, somebody gave me Agent S's fossil, or fossil, picture. So I don't actually need Agent S's picture, but I feel like I should get a second, just because she's here, you know? Give me your photo. A jester costume. Lame. So many jocks are ugly. Also, that's a hell that's a big a big butt emote. Shiny butt. Cute. <laughs> so many jocks are ugly, it's true. Oh, we replaced that um that mother and child statue with a big old David. You get a big face full of dick there. Oh, we got some more flowers here. In all his glory, that's right. There's no shame there. Alright, Francine's awake. Oh, she's crafting. What are you crafting, girl? Oh, damn, I just pushed her off the bench. Damn, that was rude. A lucky gold cat. Does anybody need a lucky gold cat DIY? That's a pretty good one. What you got for me? A photo? You've been giving me gifts. Come on. Come on. Oh. We love a face full of dick. We sure do. At least I do. What's Tone Dagosa? Um. I forget who told me to make that. It's from, I think, Mother or Earthbound. I honestly don't know what it means. They said it was in in that game as some sort of greeting, but I don't remember. Chateau Julian. Here, I'll look it up. I'm sure there's something about it on the web. Tondagosa. Mother 3. Desperado Crush Mambo Combo, abbreviated for its simplicity, is a band in Mother 3. Their catchphrase is Tondagosa, a greeting, and Nante Koda, a farewell. Interesting. Now we know. I'm pretty sure they told me that, I just forgot. <laughs> Typical. A photo? No. We can't be so lucky. Not today. Alright, I'm gonna send y'all your goodies here in a minute. Get these fossils passed out. Kinky, thank you for the smoke-free encouragement. Four months strong. Not a single puff. I was kind of bad and had a little bit of soda today, though. No shame. It was delicious. Puff, puff, pass. These days it's more like pass, pass, puff. Or something, I don't know. That didn't make sense, but you get the drift. Alright, uh, nobody's up here. Yeah, I'm thinking a house is going to be able to fit right here. It's five wide. One, two, three, four, five. With the little space by the bridge. 
and then I think it's four deep. One, two, three, four. So there's this should be a perfect spot for a little building. I don't know what's gonna go here though. In all honesty, I have no idea. All right, Blue Bear, did Blue Bear go to bed? She was just out here. Oh, no, she's around. Blow, is she still fishing? Did she get off the fish? Oh, she was just about to. Oh, damn it, she just did get back on it. All right, Blue Bear, where'd you go? There you are. My fabulous bestie. She's so sweet. Photo? I think she's giving me gifts these days too in the mail. Mesh cap. Nope. Alright, we just gotta get Flo off of fishing here. And we'll have passed out all the fossils we can. Oh, she's off it. You rock. I sure do, thanks. Thanks for noticing. Can't believe Haley gave my outfit a boot. Protein shaker. Alright, we're still not great, buds. Flo doesn't quite get me yet. The egg is still here. The egg remains. I wonder what I should put in this small little spot. So what do you think? Should I get rid of this area over here and open this lake back up? Now that I have all that water on the other side, I'm not sure it's totally necessary, but I just don't like this little area as much as I thought I would with this redesign. A toot because of the purple glasses. Ah, oh, I convinced you to change your mind. Great. I'll take it. I don't want to put water there. I want to fill it in. I guess we'll just do that. Eat a fruit, pick up the tree. That's true. That would have been the easiest choice. Definitely would have. I'll just leave it like that for the future. Oh wait, that's not right. Oh, that's also not the way I want to go. Alright, I guess I'll leave this. Somebody might want that if they visit. Alright, the general town space is clean. Grounds have been cleaned up. Everyone's been given a fossil. Nobody joined the queue. I know. That's alright. I'll find stuff to do. There's always something to do in this game. I could do random dream codes, that's true. It's not a bad idea, Haley. Not a bad idea at all. Alright, let's drop the card. I guess I'm gonna pick up these flowers real quick, so let me drop this random riffraff. Oh, I forgot to sell those sticks.
Oh, we need to ID this. Kind of just feel like trashing the sticks. It's just slightly quicker. And is this fossil going to be worth the time or will it be trash? I'll go change my outfit too. Stego skull, we can keep that and wrap it. That's good to me. Man, I stayed up. I didn't finish my painting last night till 4 a.m. It was a long night, and I did not take a nap today. But I also didn't wake up till like 11. So I guess it all evened out. <laughs> We'll drop this. The only thing I have to do is go pick up the green mums from the top area. Yeah, it was it ended up taking way longer than I thought it would, of course. It always does with painting, but it was worth it to do it all in one sitting. My paint was super gummy and dry by the end, though. It was like barely made it. I had to keep stirring it like every couple minutes towards the end. And like adding water droplets to keep it thin and pliable. Wish I didn't have to sell all these, but sometimes... No flowers is the best option, you know? I mean, I have too many flowers as it is. What well, I wonder what I should do with my little sandbar. Now I have like that area right above here, just north of here on the beach is just like beach surrounded by water on both sides. I wonder what I should do there. This is kind of like the commercial side of the beach. I feel like I should put like those water breakers maybe and I don't know. I feel like the touristy commercial like part of the beach with I wish there were umbrellas. I'm really hoping we get umbrellas at some point. I'd love to have little beach towels with umbrellas above them and coolers and and lawn chairs and stuff. That would be really cute. I thought we would have that. I want to do like a, a what looks like a touristy beach, you know? Put maybe like a bicycle rack down there. Remember when we could do umbrellas from custom patterns? I was so nice. I guess I could put like umbrellas laid down on the beach, but that's not really the same, you know? It doesn't have the same effect as like a stand up umbrella. Yeah, if you could place an umbrella like that, then it would be different. Placing it and having it all lean on its side, as it does now, is just kind of... I don't see any purpose in that. Other than to, like, display a pattern. Or use it as, like, a decorative flourish if you turn the umbrella part where you can't see the handle. Oh, my umbrella... or my shovel's broken. I think I have one more shovel left in my storage. We give Julian a gift? 
I don't think I did. I think I couldn't find him, right? Let me go grab one. Where'd you go off to? Man, where did he go? Oh, he's oh, sitting down. Julian, here, if I sit down with him, he'll get up immediately. Three, two, one. Oh, wow, he's not getting up. Maybe if I go to photo mode. There we go. Photo mode makes him get up. Oh, he missed me. What's up, sissy? Oh, I guess I already did. You can just take a load off any old time with a an iron garden bench. There's benches everywhere in this town. A cold iron bench on a cold winter night. Oh well, I thought we... We needed that, but apparently we didn't. I'm so close to getting like three villager photos. I got three of them sending me gifts in the mail like constantly. They just won't give it to me. I just keep getting clothing. Alright, yeah, the lag could be worse there. One of my goals was to not have severe lag anywhere in my town. Hey, Kid Knives. I am cleaning up my island after my redesign. I did some changes. Nice to see you too. I've been keeping myself busy tonight. I have viewer island visits up, but... No one's joined the queue yet, so I'm just chilling. I'll probably do some random dream visits like Haley suggested. Here in a little bit. After I finish my cleanups. Oh, there's no queue to see. I think it's exclamation point join. What do you have to show me, though? Isn't your island brand new? <laughs> Isn't your island brand spanking new? Nothing. Oh, gotcha. Fair. None of these flowers are being saved. To the cell bin. Unless you want me to save you a few. I could save you two blue hyacinths, two, two what? I don't have two purple pansies, so I can get rid of that. I got two purple windflowers. Yeah, I'll, here, I'll bring you some flower hybrids. Yeah, I can, I can scrape together two purple roses, no problem. Do you need any of these other ones? You'll take any flowers? Alright. I won't give you these white wind flowers. They're pretty much worthless. Um, 
I think this other one here is purple. It could be a black rose, but I'm sure I have another purple rose somewhere I can spare. Okay, yeah, that one was black. We need, what, another purple tulip. Hey, JC, and welcome back. Welcome back. All right, we'll find another purple pansy. I'll leave these here for now. I can come back. I have all these, right? Blue pansies, blue hyacinths. Yeah, I just need, yeah, blue roses. We're good on those. You did, but you're not worried. You should visit T-Pain's Island. I can visit T-Pain's Island. Oh, wait, no, I want to keep that one. Alright, so we got some extra roses. Extra purple rose up here by Pierce's house. Just snatch one from here. Donate anything you want to me. Got it. I uh, can grab another blue rose from pretty much anywhere. Alright, we got a purple pansy right here. Pierce is my gay homie. Pierce is pretty chill. I don't think I'm going to keep Pierce permanently. He was one of my dreamies, but... I don't know. He just hasn't been as cute to me this time as he was in Pocket Camp. What else did I need? Blue Rose, Black Rose. Hey, Frog-Legged. All Animal Crossing villagers are gay. Sorry, don't make the rules. <laughs> Fair. That makes sense. Somebody who visited me early on had uh, an island called Gay Island. I really respected that. Alright, lots of green mums. I'll bring you four of these. Yeah, the, the weird stalker island. That was too much. Why is me mum green? I do not know. Mummy. Alright, I'm sure you have purple mums somewhere as well. Oh, I have black roses up by my house. Plenty of black roses up here. I don't even need all these. Oh my god. What if we're an after image of what happens in the future? Whoa. My mind just got blown. Deep. Deep. Alright, we got purple hyacinths and purple mums up here. Hey, Wary. I'm doing well. Doing very well. Just about to deliver some flowers to Kid Knives. Getting some pears ready to go here. A lot of cussing over here. The cussing. Cursing. Yeah, we curse around here. It's a thing we do. I personally cuss like a sailor. <laughs> it just flows out of me, you know? Tomorrow's the last day. I know. Tomorrow's also my mom's birthday, so tomorrow's gonna be a great day. Nothing new, though. I could probably visit your island again. I'm gonna do a random dream code after I go to Kid Knives. 
Let's see. We need one more green mum. Which I have a plenty of those up here. Seems kind of pointed. Your tone seems very pointed right now. Oh, with that. Gotta do the drag queen like, find the drink with my tongue. Coco themed inspired, ooh. Let's see, I have black tulips here. Are those my only black tulips in the whole town? I think they might be. That's a pretty decent little selection of flowers. Lots of pears there. You want to know what I get? I do when I get bored and your mom doesn't let me watch your phone? What do you do? Draw? Drawing is a good answer. Not that you do it, but you could. Alright, yeah, those are my only black tulips. Weird. I wonder why I just decided to leave the small bit there. It'll forever be a mystery, even to me. Alright. Let me come bring these over real quick. Let's see, you put a dodo code a little bit further up. There it is. Got it. Whoop. Philosophical questions, try and answer them the best you can. But when time comes, I can be the savior? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. A savior? You got a savior complex, Jacina? I want to fly. Alright. Oh shit, what did I just press? I wasn't paying attention. Press the wrong button. Antaria? That's not it. Because I didn't do dodo code. I zoned out right at the worst possible moment. Typical. Kawaii. Kawaii. Cute. Cute. We're heading over. I know you can't, you couldn't tell my shoes were pink in the night lighting. But pink and purple are my accents today with my white. Kid Knives needs everything. Oh wait, you know what? I have a Lucky Gold Cat um, DIY card. that um, Agent S, I think, was crafting. I'll grab that for you. It's the only one I have right now, but I'll keep you in mind for future DIY cards. All right, I'm gonna get to the Dodo screen and actually type it in this time. Third time's a charm. Love this user interface. Just love it. Just love it so much. It's so nice. The Animal Crossing community is the best. And 
Kid Knives was the best of the best. Still is. Just doesn't have all the stuff now. <laughs> so sad. I'm glad I can help you though. Even though I'm kind of a lazy crosser. Two J V. There we go. You can't handle it. Well, you're gonna have to. You're just gonna have to deal with it. What would dodos do? They'd let me get through this screen faster is what they would do. They'd get me in and out of this airport as fast as possible. Saved me from a tarantula. I'll take credit for that. I'll take credit for that. Ooh. What's this island gonna be? It's gonna be interesting. Oh my god. Dirt pause alert. Camp. Oh my god. Still tents. Roughing it. You love it. Oh, look at that little pool. Big pool, big field. Alright, we got a flower delivery. Lots of purples and blues. Like a crazy butt plug. Kind of does. Looks kind of uncomfortable, honestly. Hello! Let's see, here is a Lucky Gold Cat DIY. You have stars. Ooh. Oh my god. Do they even play this music anymore? This is like early game music. Oh! Yeah, early game music's the best. Ooh, secret meteor shower up in here. All right, we got a bunch of purple flowers. Muffin, thank you for that follow. Creeping my way up to a thousand. That's my goal. A thousand followers by the end of February. We'll see if it happens. Hope you're doing well. We got some green mums there for you. Thank you for that follow. I am just chilling. Kid Knives restarted their island. So they are getting some hybrids that I have just laying around. That was gonna sell off anyway. Freebies. Now they got room to grow in. All you need is a good snowstorm. And you'll get you some extra hybrids. Alright, I know there's not a ton of stuff to look at right now, but I don't get to see early game islands anymore, so let's just like run around freely. Fancy free. Oh, 
all the space. Can you play with me? Um, I'm gonna do some viewer island visits. If you have a, an island you'd like me to come visit, I can come over. <sighs> do you not have a vaulting pole yet? You don't. You still have tents. Here. The bare essentials. What else do you need? I never use my axe. You can have this watering can, I never use that. Honestly, I never use any of this. The shovel's partially used, so... I don't want to give you that, it'll probably break, like, right after you start using it. Actually, you know what, you can just have all these, it's fine. these starters oh my god the perfect starters kawaii rolled in canberra classics ah uh, roughing it in the tents wait who's here is this canberra's tent it must be a rolled ten. It must be rolled. I don't see rolled. Roald. It is rolled. Hey, uh. Did I scare ya? My bad. Sometimes I get a little too pumped up and then I get a little too loud. You're here visiting, right? That's so cool. I'm new here, but I'd love to have an off island workout, buddy. We're buds. Official buds. Ooh, a shirt. Tie-dye. Yeah, I can barely do one at a time, Haley. I don't know how you do three. Well, kid knives. That's all I have. And now I don't have a ladder and a vaulting pole to explore, so I'm out of here. I'm out. Enjoy those hybrids and tools. A little starter pack for you there. Oh, looks like Alex is coming. Right as I'm trying to leave. Sorry. I'll let you come in first. I'll wait. Yo! KGU five seven four six five six six. Thank you for the follow. Anyone wants me to visit their island, let me know. Otherwise, I'm about to do a random dream island visit. You coming? Oh, he scratched his little side. I feel like if I try to leave again, you're gonna come right when I try to leave. Dodo. There's no Dodo. Alright, I'm gonna try and leave again. Got it. Yeah, there's no Dodo, but... I could visit you. I do have to make me a new ladder and a vault pole, like, right now, though. First things first. Ooh. 
Ooh, my island looks so good with the school there. Look how good that looks. Damn, that's a good looking building. Gold rose is nice. I should have given some. I actually have a couple of extras laying around. I just don't have any like pink, um, orange, none of those colors. You added me as a BFF, I will add you back. Can't believe we weren't BFFs already. I haven't checked. I never checked this. Pee pee poo. Coco no. I don't know who any who either of these are. I don't know who these are. So I'm going to have to let those sit in limbo. Yes, they'll eventually have to get denials. I'm not giving randoms my shovel rights. Not that I would care if they took any of the flowers like around town, but if I gave them shovel rights and I came up here and saw missing flowers, I'd freak. Because I, ha I do have every hybrid up here. I just don't have enough to, like, pass out to people, you know? It's kind of like my backup stash. And then this is for the roses. Same thing. It was just slightly too small of a space to fit it all. Hey, KGU. Oh, you know what I need? I've been really bad. Hey, Lou. It's been really well. It's been a great day. I finished my painting and photographed it. Came out really cute. Super happy with it. Put it on all the social medias, you know. All right, we'll go ahead and just take some of these out of storage. I wanna leave my little angry elephant watering can in here though, it's too cute to get rid of. Too cute. Um, so we need vault pole and ladder, so we're gonna need all the woods. I think we probably don't need more than eight for both, right? Hopefully not. I did a couple, yeah, when I was doing it before I photographed it this morning, I took another glance over and found like a couple of things that I didn't finish last night. It only took like 10 minutes to finish it, but yeah, I did. She's beautiful. I'm going to pull her up on stream again because I love her and I'm so happy. Look at her. She's so good. Look how pretty she is. She's gorgeous. She's done. The back of the island. Still all those weeds and stuff. Weeds? What? Would, I didn't even see what the natural flower was there. Alright, we got our vaulting pole and our ladder. But yeah, she's done. I have the manual cover up, so... My hand actually goes over it this time. <laughs> It's not added in OBS. Oh no, you pulled your shoulder this morning? Yikes. Don't you hate that when you pull something just from like basic living? It's the worst. It's like, oh my god, my body's falling apart. I get that sometimes. Like, if I get out of bed in a weird way. Sometimes it like my side... I've definitely pulled my side, like, side muscles. Natural flower is the highest. And, ooh, that's a good one. What else do I need? An axe. I still have an axe in storage. I gave away a wetsuit. Axe, wetsuit. Watering can. I guess I'll pull out the elephant. It's fine. 
I can always get my green elephant and customize him. Didn't I have an axe? I just have all these flimsy axes. Maybe I already pulled the axe out. No, I didn't. All right, we'll just get a wetsuit. So yeah, just missing an axe, which I don't even really need. I could just get a flimsy. I do need to start gathering normal wood again. We'll just have a flimsy on us. I need to use those anyway. Alright. So. No dream, or no, uh, no viewer islands to visit tonight. I love my little building. My indigo mart. It's so cute. Oh, it's a look. I have the Aurora Borealis in my town right now. So pretty. Oh, it's really cute. Damn. Ugh. Oh. Alright, yeah, I'll go visit your dream. And go do that right now. It is really nice. Oh, that was the wrong button. I wanted to take a... Let's move forward a little. Get that out of the shot. No emotes! Oh my god. So pretty. See if I can make it up to my house without seeing anything. Oh, I didn't quite make it. stick in storage just because I forgot to get rid of it. Change our outfit. Then we'll go over to Wary's place. Let's see. I want to feel extra cute, thinking like bubblegum and licorice. I like my noble pants. I think they're cute. Yoga is kind of an underrated expression. I love that it's a legit yoga routine. It's just slightly too colorful. Let's see. I wish you could put on like a separate scarf. Hey, Bacchus. Welcome on in. I'm about to go visit a dream island that I know is going to be gorgeous. Do 
cute little black slip-ons. I think will do the trick. Maybe like a tiny, like a little yellow bag to go with the yellow accents on our pants and the bottoms of our shoes. Scarves would be so cute. The sheeps had scarves, so you know they have scarves somewhere. You know they do. No tide pools. Oh no. Rip. Alright, we're going to Wary's Dream Island, and then we'll do a random. You do have a tide pool. Ooh. I'm no tide pools. I, the, sheep, the sheep were much cuter in the scarves. They look uh, kind of odd in their little shirts. Like, the shirts are cute, but kind of in like a... Like a quirky way, or like a goofy way, you know? The scarves were elegant. How shall I prepare your dream? Coco themed. Coco the movie themed. Here we go. Oh. All around. Oh, shit. I hit B. Damn it. I can't get through a menu without messing it up at least once. Here we go. Please close your eyes and relax. I feel like Luna's a little more dolled up in this game. Was she dolled up that much in New Leaf? She's got the red pumps and the red lipstick. I don't remember her being that dolled up. Never noticed that. She is working it. Open your eyes. Ooh, it's foggy. I think last time I came to this town it was snowy and nighttime. This is a different perspective on it, for sure. Let's look at the map. I remember it being super duper like jam packed. It looks different though. Did the emote work? Yes, it did. Ditto. Ditto. Got cats. Julian, Anka, Coco, Kabuki, Raymond, Snake, Lucky, Judy, Genji, and Drago. Luna was always like that, huh? I never noticed till now. Only eight years of playing Animal Crossing. Took me eight years to notice. All right. The fog. It's kind of giving me like a, a gloomy afterlife kind of feel. The fog is really cool. You can make a really cool like, put a bunch of cedar trees and make something kind of like Pacific Northwest. I think would be paired with fog really well. Lots of cedars. You could use the small, um, the small little plant. I don't know what it's called. It looks like a cedar. It's like a small little potted plant. Maybe make a bridge across like a foggy gulch, you know? So lots of candles and Day of the Dead skulls. 
and flower busts. Hey, Haley. Welcome. I'm doing island visits, dream or in person. This is our first one. We've got a shrine over here. I love the um the tapestry. You never wake up early, so you never got to see it. Same. Another Haley. Been fun being quiet. You've been lurking out there, Jacina. Honestly, I'm a lurker, so I feel it. I love lurkers. I love chatters, but I also love lurkers. Oh, we got a cherry shrine over here. This one's a little, definitely got a little more of a gloomy vibe. Red candles. The candles everywhere. This is different from the last island, like completely different. I don't remember it being like this at all. Not a big fan of cluttered islands. I don't think, I mean, there is clutter, but I think with theming it kind of works, you know? I just, as long as I'm not having to shimmy through a bunch of items, I'm fine. If I'm having to, like, scoot and shimmy my way around the whole place, then it, it gets kind of tiresome. <gasps> but this one's not really like that. I can move pretty freely. Oh my god, a pitfall seed. The shade of it. A toilet. Color beach. You want to watch Coco again? I should watch Coco. Me and my husband watched Soul. It was good. Got a cricket. I don't have a net though. We got another toilet over here. What's up with the toilets? What story do the toilets tell? I don't have anything to dig these up. I wonder what these are. So much lag. There is some lagginess. That kind of goes with the amount of stuff, you know? I do like the the very vibrant colors. We got a gold area here. Every time I see a gong, I've got to hit it. Three gong hits. We got a shrine here, but I don't see an animal. Oh my god, these three heads. Intense. It looks like a one of those what are they called Rorschach blots? Giving me like a Rorschach blot test. What do you see here? Actually the layering with the fog is really pretty. It's kind of an unexpected picturesque quality to it that you wouldn't normally notice seeing like the flamingo silhouettes and stuff back there. I can dig that. Drago. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, these are cute. I never thought about using these as like a little... A little decoration like that. Turn backwards. That's a cute idea. I'm just gonna keep roaming up this beach. Got a mermaid cove. Can I squeeze? I can't squeeze. Yeah, the fog adds like a different vibe to what would otherwise feel like a very cheery island. It's kind of interesting. Oh, I gotta see a Triforce. Triforce sighting. When are we getting our Nintendo items, damn it? I want my Mario items. I want my Zelda items. I want my Zelda villagers back from New Leaf. Bullshit, man. Cerebus of ancient times lived around 170 million years ago. It's omnivorous. Is it? 
Oh, we have a graveyard. The bamboo candle's pretty. I need to use that in my husband's house. Oh my god. How did I not ever use that? It's so pretty. What is that? Oh, it's a gnome. I didn't know he had a skull on the back. We got a little... Can I get over there? I don't think I can get over there. Oh, do I have to go the long way? A pool. I like the uh, crescent moon with the piano. Kind of an absurdist pairing. Kind of, this island kind of has like a surrealist, dreamlike vibe to it, just in general, outside of the fog. I just want to pick up all these star bits and take them with me. Ooh, this clamshell is really pretty and blue. Oh my god, I'm using that. That's going to be pretty. I'm going to use that in my art gallery. It looks like a Chihuly glass piece or something. Really pretty. See, I'm getting ideas here. This is great. I did not know that thing could be made to be like a lush blue like that. I love it. The glass gardens are so fucking cool. Oh my god. I know Chihuly doesn't really make the stuff anymore, but it's still pretty cool. House on a hill. Glass gardens. Yeah, this so the artist I was referencing is called I think is Dale Chihuly. Ch Ooh, I don't know how to spell his name. It's kind of a weird spelling. There, okay, it's actually pretty straightforward. Yeah, it was Dale Chihuly. Yeah. Um, his he's got like really organic glass forms. So it's like a glass blower, but they're very kind of organic and floral inspired. They're very cool. Kind of some of them are like underwater creature looking. It's interesting. That's what I I thought of when I saw that blue clamshell. That'd be cool to put on like a safe as a pedestal and put in like the center of one of my art gallery rooms or something. Or to put around town. Honestly. I never thought of that. But now, I definitely want like 20 of those. Thanks, Weary. I got nothing else out of this island. I got that. Ooh, we got a little Kiki Shrine. This, these shrine designs are really cool, though. Like, Oh, and Marshall's back there. I love symmetry, but it's like off-centered symmetry. It's like imbalanced symmetry. Lots of candles. I think the candles might be what's causing the lag, because they're all, like, lit. Posture check. Oh my god, thank you. I was getting slumpy. Alright, we got a little doll tea party. Can't go over there. King KK. Or is this Spring Blossoms playing? It's not gonna tell me. Alright, we still gotta go inside the house. I think I passed the house very early on. I remember this little area. This is the same. It looks prettier in the springtime. Actually, I love the giant mushroom too. It's one of my favorite items in the game. All these pagodas. Oh, so much dedication. Okay, I can't really go up there. Okay. Have I been here? I haven't been here. 
miss the spring green terrain. I know, we'll be getting it very soon. Right? Doesn't spring, it'll come back at like mid-February, March. Kink. <laughs> Green's pretty. I mean, I love the snow. My, I'm gonna feel, my island's gonna feel so strange when it goes back to green, though. Snow is perfect for my island. Wait. Oh, it felt like I just went downstairs. Weird. Got a little back area here with lots going on back here. I don't know what to classify this as. Kind of like Wonders of the World. Space exploration, lots of robots. Spring is gone. Winter will last all year. I need to really wrap up my... I guess when I make a dream code, my final dream code, I'll definitely just go to winter. So I want... I want my my ideal dream island is my island with all the building interiors done, um, all the exterior like art decorations placed, and I want winter, 5 a.m., snowstorm, sparkling flowers. Five AM I think has the prettiest sky. I love that like glowing aqua green sky. Can you change the landscape that it's all iron? It would be really cool if we could have like a desert island, you know? Like if you could decide you wanted your whole island to be sand or stone. I am. I'm eventually, yeah, I have a second Switch. I haven't bought a second copy of the game yet. But I definitely will buy a second copy of the game once I'm done with, with Indigo. You want to see a mecha biome? This is a pretty little Abel's area. I like this, like, crafting table with the cherry blossom and the kimono. That's a nice, like, item pairing. Like a nice little design vignette there. Snake. Alright, we've got a little beach ruin. Scorpion fights. Okay, so this is kind of like the ancient ruins area. With a gas station on the pier. It's very surrealist. It's a very, like... It's just like... Imagine you walk five feet in a dream and it's like a completely different dream. It's giving me that kind of vibe, you know? Like five minutes later in your dream and it's just somewhere, it's just something completely different. Damn, that outfit. The leaves lulled themselves to sleep. This is such a weird version of the path. It's like a mossy... Like, I love the path. I kind of want to make my own version of it, but... There's no way I'd make it as good as what's already been made with it. Yeah, the fog definitely gives it that, like, surrealist vibe. Replace your streets with the path? I could never. I love my streets. I feel like the streets are the defining characteristic of my town. Like you walk five feet and your dream just changes completely. Any thoughts on bamboo? I like bamboo. I think it's pretty. If you wanted a real tropical vibe, you just fill your island with palm trees and bamboo. Like as a mixture of, and you can get a very jungle-like feel. Maybe on your... Yeah, I'm gonna make... I don't know what my next island theme is gonna be. I don't know if I'm going to have a concrete theme ahead of time. I might just let it develop more organically. Oh, 
Oh my god, I want my own Stonehenge. I still have not gotten a Stonehenge from Gulliver yet. It's so goddamn nice. I want it. Can I take this one with me? Oh, we got a Petro and Bob Shrine over here. I don't know where I'm going to put a Stonehenge on my island, but I'm definitely going to find a place for it. Organic natural pink. That would be cute. I'm thinking something that's not, like, totally monochromatic. But definitely, like, a tight color palette. Just not monochrome like I did indigo. And indigo's not fully... I mean, there's purple and white and black in there, but... It feels monochrome, you know? Do you like gambling? No. You have an extra one? Oh, you don't have to send it to me. I would love that, but it's up to you. I will, I'll take it. <laughs> I will definitely not say no. Pink and green. Watermelon would be cute. Where? I know I was near your house at some point. I know I'm missing a lot of areas. I'm just, it's kind of hard to navigate my way to make sure I've seen everything, but... This is kind of wild. This little house with the half fossil. That's such a huge fucking fossil. Crazy. Alright, we got... Okay, yeah, I haven't been here yet. Alright. <gasps> Cannon. We got Sprocket's photo. Tucked away up here. Nah, I've never really gambled. I mean, I've bought lotto, lotto tickets a handful of times, but, like, outright gambling, not so much. I'm too frugal to gamble. <laughs> Alright, this is the marketplace. I remember this from the first time I was here. It just feels so different, because it's, like, springtime. It feels like a totally different place. I can't tell how much is the same and how much is different because the color is just totally different and changes everything for me. Alright, did I go over here? Not really. Some more pagodas. Gamble small amounts of money in which we do score the highest in the test. That would motivate me. Yeah, the biggest, it's, I'm kind of a risk-averse personality. Oh, I can't jump over there. Thought I'd be able to. Oh, we got another character. And that's like a, a Sheikah eye down there. Another Zelda pixel art. I don't know if I can get up there. Oh, face full of ass. Love it. Alright, I do remember going up there. So we've kind of reconnected to somewhere we've been officially. Wait, what is this book? Gotcha is technically gambling too. Yeah, I did a little bit, I dabbled with that in pocket camp for a week before the game screwed me and I said never again. I got lucky and got burnt by the Stitches cookies right off the bat, so they made it easy for me to not spend money in that game by fucking me over immediately. Alright, we gotta find your house again. Okay. Where am I? I'm like right in the center of town. Okay. So, southwest. The Stitches cookies had such cute items. I didn't even get the damn bears on the couch. 
It was honestly horrendous what happened to me. The pants story. Yep. $20 of stitches cookies. Nothing but pants and shoes that only my character could wear. So, garbage. Money literally pissed away. Whoa! Holy moly, this is overload. <laughs> Whoa! I'm getting like a an underworld vibe. <laughs> Zippers here. Interesting. Very loud. YouTube will show you the way. The floor is lava. Don't touch the cracks. Oh my god, look at that cutie. We got a Chev over there. Okay, so that's what Chev's mouth looks like. It's a vertical line. No wonder it's off-putting. Damn, all these photos is intense. I like the vibe of this room. The way you arrange the photos in kind of a seemingly random way. I have trouble doing that and making it look good. That actually looks good to me. Lou, enjoy the lurk. Let's go back here. Is that the nether for Minecraft? I'm so bummed I installed a really cool Minecraft mod where it portals, you didn't have to like load through them. You just walk right up to it and it's like a dream window into another region or whatever. But it, it crashed my game like three times in 20 minutes, so I had to uninstall the mod. <laughs> It was a cool mod, though. Alright. For your style, this room's kind of demure. Yeah, it was really cool. It was called Immersive Portals. So you'd walk up to the portal, and there was no loading time. Like, if you made a portal and activated it, you could just see directly into the nether and walk directly into it with no loading, but... I think it was too much for my my computer to handle to have both regions like loaded up simultaneously so it just kept crashing for me. It didn't kick blue draws out, but it kept kicking me off and closing my client, my game client. Today's the first time you've watched me for an hour. A whole hour. Played on a server that did claim blocks once. Didn't really work right for protection, it seemed. Claim blocks? What is that? You, oh, you could claim sections of blocks and then teleport to those. I had an old mod back when I first started Minecraft, back in, like, I guess it was 2011. I had a mod that would let you set up, like, in-world portals. So a portal, you could make a portal and then link it directly to another portal so it was like fast travel you know i could have like a hub and then you know 20 portals would transport you to 20 different places in this the region or whatever without having to like travel there via mine cart or whatever this room's cute it's so interesting i don't i just don't see the shanty kind this kind of like straw wall working with galaxy floor but it does i think it's like the lighting i'm trying to find a mod that's like that again but i haven't found it i thought immersive portals would be kind of like that but it was not 
It was just like opening portals to the nether that you could see directly into. It was like like the portal gun in Portal, just seeing directly where you're going to go through the portal, but I couldn't like link it to the same like region without it going to the nether. All right, we got like a, a cherry blossom arcade. Oh my god, the vill this is the villager photo room. I remember this. Look at all these photos, y'all. So impressive. Look at all the cuties. Ugh. Damn it. Octavian wears a hat in his photo? Jesus. I can name like almost every villager in here. I don't know the name of this green squirrel. Like she's on the tip of my tongue. But I don't know her. Who else do I not know? The little cat down there with the smug look on her face. I don't know her. Mint. That's mint. Yeah, the one with the eyeshadow down there. I think the one above her is Tabby. I know all those. I don't know the name of that gorilla. It might be Al. It's probably just Al. No, that's not Kiki. Kiki's black. Kiki's a black cat. Her. Who is she, though? I don't know her. That cow? I feel like the cow's on the tip of my tongue, but I don't know the cow. She does look sassy. That green elephant, I'm not sure of the green elephant. <sighs> Tiffany. Tiffany sighting. I also love Shep. Shep is super cool. So many pictures. Is that Opal? What's up here? Oh yeah, I remember this room. The treasure cove, more photos. Her name shall be Zati. I'm sure I, Z I did not even say that right, I'm sure. Native language for cat. Who's this bird? This zombie-eyed bird. Oh wait, no, is this one mint? This one's mint, right? Maybe not, I don't know. Two green squirrels, it's throwing me off. Peck. Okay, that's Peck. What's the other green one's name? I think it's similar to Peanut. I always likened her to Peanut, but I can't remember her name. So many cuties. Yeah, this room's cute. Study time. Good luck, Jacina. See you tomorrow. The Pirate's Treasure Cove. Nibbles! Nibbles. Nibbles is definitely right. Moose tracks. Ooh. Damn, I can't wait to have, like, some Rocky Road ice cream again. 
I've been avoiding it because, you know, braces and nuts. But that's gonna be so good. Moose track sounds fucking delicious. Oh wait, no, I can't leave through the airport. What am I doing? Rocky Road's my fave. Alright, I'm heading out. I want to wake up. It's beautiful. It definitely has that... Definitely, I would classify it as dreamy, surrealist, kind of absurdist. Which I guess kind of works with Coco. Yeah, Frosty. I'm doing Dream Island visits. Wary's the only one I had on deck, so if you've got an island for me to visit, it can be Dream or it can be in person. Whatever you want to do. Whatever floats your boat. You just let me know. Oh, I love when he spreads out like that. I missed the pirate secret island. Oh. Me and you are friends. All right, you can open up for friends and I'll come over. Let me go ahead and turn off my bedroom lights. Leave the candle burning, even when I'm not home, which is dangerous. ATX Shooky. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that very, very much. Hope you're having a good night out there. If you're lurking, enjoy that lurk. All right, the island is cleaned up. I didn't do any cleanups all week, so I'm glad it only took like an hour to clean it all up. So what should I put? What should I put here? What kind of themed building should I put here? You're all set? Alright, I'll be right over. What would go here? Oh. Maybe I could do a dormitory? Oops, that'd be separate from the apartment building, though. It's a lot of residential. Maybe a little too much. Alright, let's see what Frosty's up to. Let's see what Frosty's doing over here. A snack shop. Yeah, I was thinking, I don't know. I want to kind of do something residential themed, but I'm having a hard time like pinning it down. Searching for a friend. I could just do like another normal house, you know? I could just do like a, a chance to have another themed home. Like mine or my husband's, just a typical bedroom, bathroom, kitchen deal. Is there any way? Yeah, I can, um, I can launch up the server. I can do that right now. It'd take me a second. Super easy. Let's see. How to start server. I have a text file that's just got the commands that I gotta input into terminal and then it's good to go. Find the directory and load up the jar file. Alright, give it like two or three minutes, it'll be up. All right, Frosty. Oh, you're welcome, absolutely. I'm happy to have someone check out the server and do stuff. I might do Minecraft tomorrow, then come back to Animal Crossing Wednesday. I'm getting a new mic sometime this week, but I have to buy like a a box for it before it'll work properly. 
and I have no idea how to use that, so could have a bit of a learning curve. But hopefully I'll pick up a lot less background noise. Hello. Hello, friend. Let's see what your island's got. Greetings. Let's check out your map. Elfland. Oh, you have Clyde. Isn't Clyde like a Stitches type? Renee is amazing. Love her. Sprocket. Fauna. You got some cuties. O'Hare is really weird and interesting. Twiggy and Clyde. Yeah, I'm getting... I got an XLR mic. So I have to get like a little... Like a routing box or whatever. To plug it into the computer. I got a Rode Procaster. So I have to get like a, a box that controls the audio levels and stuff of the mic. Alright, am I free to roam? Just gonna kinda roam and do my thing. I can do anything. Alright, cool. Let's check out. Oh, let's talk to Twiggy. Sorry, a song. I'm Twiggy, BT Duds. I'm the only fully trained and licensed trendsetter in all of Elfland. I hope we can be friends. Oh, we're already friends. Oh, you got a little tiny house. Tiny house living. Ooh, look at you with the sci-fi stuff. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, like, put, this is the tree I was talking about. Put this in the fog with the large cedar trees. And you can even do like various types of the cedar saplings. And put it over like a big wide foggy gulch. You know? You could have like a one of those bridges that just goes and you can have all the trees like on either side of it. So it looks like the bridge is going over them. It'd be really pretty. Ooh, an Aurora wall with a parking lot. Oh, I can't hit the drums. Oh yeah, I can. It was just laggy. Ah. Uh. We knew a globe could be an instrument. Interesting. It's giving me early vibes. I mean, we got a cardboard box up in here. Things are going down in Elfland. Just gotta work with what you got. I'm getting a no time travel vibe, which I respect always. Got a little garden and a nice DIY table outside. We got a sporty boy, likes to shoot some hoops. Campsite on the beach over here. I love the little campsite deck. I want public works projects back so we can have like some unique things like we did in New Leaf. I want a Wisteria Trellis back so bad. At the museum up here. Oh, excuse me. Who's been chopping wood? Oh, you know what? What do I want to put here? Let's just do a classic heart. I'm not going to I'm not going to do anything too overwrought and overdone. Let's just do a nice cute heart.
I think I'm going to fill it in. Do some little Mario eyes on it. Let's do a beautiful heart. I wish we had more than three colors. I feel like they really shortchanged us with the color options on the bulletin board. It's not charming to limit us to three damn colors. What can you do with three colors? This isn't a restaurant. I'm not three years old. I need more. I think I'll leave it like that before it just gets worse and worse. Alright, some cute little Mario eyes. Too big. I wonder how it'll look if I try to put in a highlight with an eraser. Bad. But we're gonna roll with that. I can re-outline that with a smaller bit of black. Gotta put in a little bit of detail somewhere, you know? All right, this eye's looking a little crazy over here. Wonky eye. Looking a little square. Whoops. All right, they're a little wonky, but I think it's fine. I'm not going to do a mouth. Maybe I should try to outline it, though. Hey, that was pretty good. What else? Should I do anything else? I think simplicity might be the answer here. Let's just do like some cute little light radiating lines. There we go. A heart for your board. What's that, money? You keep that money. I'm rich. I am... 420. 420 weed. Smoke weed every day. If it's legal, then you stay. Cause I, just because I have to say that, you know? Though it should be legal everywhere. Let's be real. You're in Canada? Nice. Another Canadian in chat. Kinda wish I was in Canada. I'm in the southeast, so... Not that great. 
tiny little rocks. We got a secluded beach. Oh, you got a bottle over here. Internet fell through after you've pointed out Kiki. Oh no, you've been losing internet a lot, Alex. That's a bummer. Ooh, you got a new DIY. Heck yeah. I heard that. Using data for the stream. Ooh, this is looking like natural beginning island times. A clue? Hi, Cassie. Welcome. Ooh, Detective Nicket. I was raided. Do we get a secret raid? Hello, Cassie. Hello, awesome and amazing. This is Frosty's Island. Oh, <laughs> you know, somebody else raided me last week and they were having trouble with raids too, so I think it's like a Twitch thing. But welcome. Thank you, Detective. Aw, thank you for the follow. I am visiting an island right now, but I'll give y'all a quick little tour of my island when I get back. If you stick around for a little bit. And I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Pardon me, Frosty, while I mention a little bit about myself. My name is PinkJJS. I stream Animal Crossing. I have been streaming Wind Waker. Um, I'm making my way through a bunch of Zelda titles. I've got Wind Waker and a handful of others left, including Majora's Mask. And I've been doing creative Minecraft recently. Um, I also paint from time to time. Thank y'all for those follows. Amazing, awesome and amazing, Detective and Cassie. Thank y'all so much. Mwah. Appreciate that very, very much. And thank you for the old fashioned raid. I love it. Um, but I paint as well from time to time. Uh, I'll show you the most recent painting that I finished, that this is her. She, this is live. She is finished. I finished her last night. Um, so I paint from time to time. I have a couple other pieces I like to show. We've got uh, this baby here. We've got uh, this baby. And we've got this baby. So I do these kind of abstracted, colorful landscapes. Um, very kind of fluid, kind of just a little imaginary dreamscapes. And then I did this one for my brother. This one's a little more traditional, but still a little my style. Just kind of toned, toned back a little bit. But yeah, you might catch me painting from time to time. Kid Knives actually had me do a paint stream last night with channel points. So that's what I spent last night doing. And I finished the piece last night. It was great. It was a long one. It's like the longest painting stream I've ever done. It was like five hours. Aw, oh, thank you. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to paint next. I don't know. I don't... I have no idea. Yep, I finished it completely. Here, I'll show you her one more time. So she... I just had a bunch of outlining to do last night. I finished all the outlining down here. So nice, crisp, clean edges on all of these large white shapes. And I did all this, I think, Kid Knives, while you were awake last night, I did the top half. But I stayed up till four in the morning, finishing the bottom half as well. Um, but yeah, I'm very proud of her. She's an old piece that I came back to in 2020. Um, she just, like, I looked at her in 2020 and was like, mm, I could push that a bit further after she had been done for like eight years. She's, she was done for a really long time. And then I looked at her and was like, actually, no. And then I, I added like a ridiculous amount to her. So yeah. All right, back to Frosty's Island. So Frosty is kind of new. Frosty's Island is still in the early stages. Frosty's got some cuties here though. Renee, Sprocket, Fauna, O'Hare. I want to go see what Clyde's house is all about. I don't think I've seen Clyde's house in person before. And Twiggy. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do next as far as painting goes. 
Not even 10 villagers here yet. It's so green here. I mean, it's snowy, but green is in new, you know? Let's see, Clyde's house is... Also, this flag is iconic. Reggae. All right, I think this is Clyde's house. Is this Clyde? I'm imagining... Oh, it is? Okay, Clyde's not who I was thinking of. By the way, Clyde is crafting um, Frosty. If you need another DIY and you haven't gotten this one yet, it is a... I'll give you whatever it is. Medium cardboard boxes. Well, I guess you can just grab it since you already came in. Give me the boxes. We'll save this one for Kid Knives. Oh, you already have it. <laughs> Kid Knives, you need medium cardboard boxes again. I'll save these for you. Okay, so Clyde, I thought Clyde was like a Stitches horse. You know, like a stuffed bear type. But he's not. I was going to say you trapped me in here. He's got a log cabin feel. Oh, he gave it to you today. Gotcha. I didn't know if you'd already grabbed it or what. Looks like your natural fruit is cherries. So just lots of big open meadows. I don't get to do this in my town anymore. Run freely in circles and skid around. Ah, oh, look at that. Leave skid marks in the snow. Cute. The old times, you know? The early days. All right, Frosty, we're gonna head back. I'm gonna head back to my town. Let's see, do I have anything I can give you? Not really. Well, here. This isn't a lot, but I'm gonna give you the money I have on me. Hey, Tammy. Welcome. If any of y'all have an island you'd like me to visit, please feel free. There's some monies for you. I'm heading out. How is everyone? I'm doing well. I had a great day today. I've showed off my painting a bunch, but I finished a painting last night. I'm super proud of it. I'm super happy with her. She came out beautifully. Um, so today I've just been kind of riding that high. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Feels good. Frosty, I owe you more bells. That was just the tip of the iceberg. I have plenty, so I'll come visit you again. See how your island progresses. But yeah, I had some leftovers and watched a movie with my husband. Played a little bit of, what did I play today? Why can't I remember? Oh, it was just Mario. I just played a little bit of, like, SNES. It was a chill day. Now we're having a chill night stream. I don't have anything left to do. I guess I'm just going to show off my, my island a little bit. Do a few more odds and ends. I need to think, what am I going to do on my little island that I made? Take a sip. I can take a sip. Those channel points just burn a hole in your pocket. I love it. Ooh, an outfit change. I can do another outfit change. Check your mail. <gasps> Oh my god, my Stonehenge? Now we definitely gotta find a place for this. Oh my god. You're amazing. Thank you. Dress as a slutty maid. I don't know if I have a maid costume. I guess I can do some kind of black and white theme. 
I'll do house boy. I'm gonna have to do like cleaning like house boy. Oh. Dress as slutty as possible. Oh, we'll, we can work that out. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, wait, we need our mustache. Okay, slutty as possible. So obviously, yes, yes, yes. You know, maybe we should do red though. I don't know, red or black? You thought it was a real life change outfit? <laughs> Y'all would be so bored with my outfit change, it's basically just change into a different color t-shirt. Because that's all I have is t-shirts. None of my um, button ups are fitting very well right now, thanks to COVID. All right, so this with the cut off black jean shorts. Mm hmm. Gotta fix your internet tomorrow for sure. It's such a bummer, it keeps going out on you like that. Hot, oh God, yes. All right, so would she wear a hat though? Oh, you know what? Maybe I could be a slutty pirate. That's kind of hot. Hmm, is that selling the look or is it too much? Probably too much. Student cap. All right. Leather baby. All right, so then I need like leather glasses. Someone from the village. I like these glasses better. I could go full beard. Or no, we'll do that. And then just big black sex boots. The stockings. What, these? Big black sex boot. Fishnets. Oh, right. I think all I have is red fishnets. I thought I had. Oh, yeah, no, I have white fishnets. And no, I do have red. White fishnets? I feel like they need to be black. Does anyone have black fishnets? You don't think it should be the more demure steel-toed boot? We need these extra buckles. Brace them into the sling. No bag, right? Oh, maybe he's a tool daddy. <laughs> more buckles, more fun. The studded bag. I'm ready for Folsom Street Fair. 
officially. We are ready for the parades. Alright, I'm thinking I change my hair to white instead of pink for the... to match the, uh, fishnets. Oh, there's no actual white, though. There's just, like, light gray. We'll keep the pink eyebrows, though, because, you know... All right, who's got a parade, a pride parade on their island? I'm ready. Daddy. I just need black fish nets, really. I'd prefer black fish nets, but I only have white somehow. I never got the black ones. I got my big pole. I'm ready to go. Let's see. Hey, Tom. I mean, this isn't slutty made, but it's pretty good. Honestly, in, um, you know what I could do? Maybe I'll do this right now, because I have nothing to do right now. Let's design a shirt. A pro shirt. We're going to get rid of this wretched looking flower dress. We're going to make just a plain tank and I'm gonna make a leather harness that's what we're gonna do actually I need to pull that up I actually made a leather harness in New Leaf that I could probably just pour it over but why not just make another leather harness show me the leather harnesses there's one Oh yeah, that's what we need. I can't show this image on stream. It's very risque, but... We're gonna make a leather harness. And then I can go full leather cosplay here. Alright, so first thing, we need a color palette. This is gonna show nipple, so please be advised. Uh, we'll go with this color palette. It seems good. Oh my god. Let's do full fill. Alright, I'm pretty pale. Okay, I'm not that pale. But we are going to need a lighter color. Let's keep these skin tones pretty close. So that is... This just needs to be slightly lighter. This needs to be... Like that. How you doing over there, Tom? Good morning to you. It is 1.37 a.m. for me. So I don't know if I'm going to finish this tonight. I probably will. We'll see. Um, I'm going to need some silver and gray. So I'll get rid of these browns. I won't need those. We can go full, do like, it's probably the darkest we need to go. And we won't need that one. Alright, that gives me a pretty good selection. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do chest hair in this. Might have to be... seven thirty a.m. Couldn't sleep anymore. So early. Good for you. 
waking up early. All right, let's see. We need our chest line. Is that that seems like it's roughly in the right place for pecs. Yeah, I'll probably I'm going to have to figure out a way to do some chest hair. Alright, I'm sure I won't be able to put this into the Ables, but that's okay. Alright, we need some collarbones. Can't even see that. Needs to go down one. Alright, this is too light. Let's make this a little darker. One shade darker. Yeah. Oh. That gives us a little bit more highlighting. Hey, flute. Yes, chest hair is great. I'm a fan of chest hair. Just feels right. All right, we're going to fill this in. Always join at the most interesting times. I don't know what drew me to do this, but I decided I'm making a leather harness. Just happened. It just happened. I don't know. They made me dress into a, a leather outfit and I was like, well, you know what? Let's just take this all the way. All right, so chest hair is gonna have to be like not this dark. It's gonna have to be pretty close to flesh tone, I feel like. Or I could go, I could add in gray. I could add in some gray. That is also a possibility. But I don't want to go too dark with it, then it won't really work, you know? Feel the fantasy, yes. Gonna have our nips out. Um, Alright, where are you? You're here. And then we want you slightly darker. Oh no. Let's try those two. That might work. Let's do a nipple. Oh, that's slow. Pink nips. Could be brown. They could be brown nipples. Or both. Let's see what both look like. Mm, I think pink's probably a better choice just for the sake of the chest hair. All right, is he gonna be a six pack? I don't know if he's gonna be a full six pack, but we'll do a little bit of definition. Mostly I just want a happy trail. I don't really care about the abs, you know?
Mm. See, I, don't, I just don't like the abs. I think, honestly, these days I would just kind of like that. And we need a little belly button action. Oh my god, the back. <laughs> oh my god, this is definitely a more than one night project. Especially since I'm starting it at like 1.45 in the morning. I need more gradation. I need like 20 different flesh tone colors. Yep, Eastern Standard Time. I mean, I could do like, kind of spread it out, you know, like just kind of give some randomness to it and then kind of clean it up. I'd like to make it so basically I could just keep the same, like, I don't mean this is obviously white skin, but I'd like to make all the skin tones. The Sir Sour, thank you for the follow. You know, just basically make it in this color and then I can just change the tones of skin. And then I could have like a dark skin, an olive skin, and have all of them. Yo! Steen! Joy! Realize! Whoa, am I getting- I'm getting botted. Am I getting botted? Oh no. Yeah, this is a bot. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to turn those sounds off. My first bot attack. Unbelievable. All right, slobs, you're going away. They must have saw me doing a leather harness and got turned on. <laughs> Bots hate the gays. Oh yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting super spammed right now. I guess I wanted a thousand follows. Oh yeah, I just got, it just jumped up like 900 follows. Great. Yeah, the leather guy just, everyone was so interested. All right, we're gonna sprinkle some of the darker color up in here, kind of randomly.
There we go. All right, still looking kind of kind of bland. Hmm. I mean, that's a pretty normal looking chest. You're wearing, wearing a full leather outfit in Animal Crossing, including a leather face mask. Well, maybe when I finish my harness. Oh my God, I just got botted a second time. Holy shit. Fun. <laughs> wow. Love those bots. They heard the they heard my plea, a thousand followers. And he answered. All right, that looks pretty decent. I feel like maybe I should just carry this random smattering of flesh tone all the way across them instead of just focusing it. The bot gods giveth, the bot gods taketh, taketh away. I'm making a leather harness. I'm gonna, it's going to be a leather harness. I'm going to have to have Actually, probably a couple different shades of black in here instead of all these grays. No, I'm not. I'm not ballsy enough to do full on <laughs> nudist. <laughs> Tempting, but no. All right, so we're gonna do like the leather strap across the middle. And then there's like a little ring. A little bit of ring action going on. And then he kind of comes this way. Use the mirror mode. I could, yeah. I should probably do that. Then this just goes up the shoulders. Not really giving me full leather fantasy. Ooh, that kind of looks like shit. Alright, that's better. Maybe I should just have it go straight up like that. And then there's just like a little, little ring hanging off right here. All right, let's do, gotta do some folds. So let's do that. Put dark around all the rings. Give it a circled kind of feel. I kind of feel like it should be three wide here. 
So we'll do the lighter gray, then the darker gray. Oh, shit. Can't wait to see it on. Oh my god, I know. It's probably going to take me some time here, but... Highly doubt I'll finish it tonight, but I will certainly only work on it on stream so y'all can see the full, full deal here. All right, then we're gonna need... Yeah, I don't know if I'll be putting it in the Able Sisters, you know? Probably won't do that. <laughs> Studded leather. Okay, that's too bright though. Imagine shirt. I mean, I've seen Pornhub shirts. What did you just come into? I'm making a leather harness. Get into it. All right. I mean, it's, it feels a little high up, doesn't it? Feels a little un like everything needs to be brought down like two squares. Can I just shift the whole thing? Okay, not that far down. Too early for you going to bed. I understand. Alright, I think there, or here, but then I need to bring the pecs up. I wish I could, like, selectively move stuff. Alright, you know what? We'll just do that. That's fine. I won't be too picky. You can only do so much. All right, some chest hair. It can't be this dark. It's gotta be like basically flesh tone still. Yeah, it may not work. The chest hair may not work. We're gonna see. To be determined. I may need like a lot more browns to make it work too, I don't know. It's kind of a trial process, I feel like. It's just when it's dark, it's too, it like it's too, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to work to me. It just takes over, and then you can't really see anything else. It's just like a big kind of mess. I don't think it's going to work, but... I don't think so. I'm not sold. Unless I'm much more like methodical about it, maybe. Hi, wholesome potato. I'm making a leather harness. Getting that a lot right now. <laughs> I 
Let's just... Let's just wipe it all away. See, like that way it kind of works if it's just like a couple of scattered dots. So maybe I need to do scattered dots that like aren't touching each other. That might be the only way it works. Or the dots, they have the color has to be so differentiated that they don't like blend into each other. Because when they connect, it just kind of fucks it up. Nipple ring. It's true, I could do a nipple ring. Yeah, I don't think chest hair is going to pan out. Unfortunately. Unless I really get into the details, which... I don't know if I have that patience. So what, just like a little... Like that? Connecting too much right here. The nips could be pink. I kind of like them brown better. Alright, I think this needs to be... that I need another like a darker gray maybe I 
feel like he would have a tribal tattoo. Is that too stereotypical? Also, how would I actually pull that off? I don't know. Maybe a heart. A mom tattoo. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to actually make a... I'm going to have to like look up tribal tattoo. Tribal tattoo ribs. Give me what I'm looking for. Oh, there it is. That's the one. make it like circle around the nipple oh my god I can't pull this off with fucking pixel art though what am I thinking <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting a little ambitious, a little too big for my britches over here. No. Just don't want it to be too messy. Things keep connecting that I don't want to connect either. tattoo myself one <laughs> this is hard <laughs> it's, it's hard I don't know biggest animal crossing challenge yet pixelated tribal tattoo go I think it just needs to go under the nipple. I don't think all the way around is gonna pan out. I also think I just like the little dots. I 
kind of a mess. So I'll just like trial and error and deletion of pixels. Messy queen, for sure. Looks like bad zebra spot, bad zebra stripes right now. thinking maybe not this far up maybe let's take out like this this and this Thinking maybe less is more. I think that's good. All right. I need to see what the leather harness looks like on the back. Show me the back. Oh, it's basically the same. So I just do mirror it and then just make get rid of the chest and make like a spine and shoulder blades. It's basically the same on the back. And then match up the tattoo, carry it over. Okay. How do I do that? Sometimes this the harness sits. Yeah, I guess I could move it up a square or two in the back. That does make sense. Copy, flip and copy. Yeah, there we go. And then I can just redo the tattoo. So, are we on the back now? Oh no, we're still on, oh no, we are on the back. Like I'm an expert or something, I've never been to a leather bar. But you've seen plenty of men in leather somehow. Don't worry, we all have. We find a way. Um, let's connect that. Any pride parade, exactly, yeah. All right, I think this actually needs to be a full black line there instead of a shaded number. All right, so then no chest.
And I might as well just get rid of this, honestly. This just needs to go. I can relink it up separate, make it totally unique. I could give him back hair. <laughs> back hair might be easier to pull off than chest hair. Cruel, <laughs> but accurate. We won't do the back hair. It's, it's unnecessary and probably not going to work, so I won't waste my time. Hope we have a parade this year, right? Hopefully, by Pride Month, things will have evened out a bit. All right, and then we got to get rid of this like little clavicle. Kind of a funky looking spine, but it's fine. All right, so shoulder blades would essentially just be like some dark divots up here. Mostly covered up. Can make it come out there. Hiding them nips. Oh no, the nips are on the front. This is the back. We already did the, the front. <laughs> Front is done. Alright, we need to keep scattering this skin tone up here in a random pixelated fashion. Yeah, when I get into a pixel art thing, I really get into it. <laughs> I don't fuck around. <laughs> Even though, oh my god, I'm up past my official stop time figures. Alright, I think I'm just going to kind of cover this. Could give him like the small, he needs like the small of the back. So that means like darker divots kind of here at the bottom maybe. Some upper crack. Yeah, now I'm thinking I need some VPLs in the front too. Hey, J props. At least the obliques. Let's see. Yep, we're going for the look.
A tattoo? Yeah, we decided to do a tribal tattoo since we couldn't do chest hair. Had to spice it up a bit. <laughs> Just a little bit, you know? Like, maybe here. Maybe we go, like, a little risque here. Got a little bit of fuzz. By the belly button or something. You want a copy of this? I maybe I'll be able to pull off putting it on Ables. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> probably, right? I don't know. Will I get banned? I guess time will tell, right? So that's kind of, how did I make that say, like, if I could get the chest hair to look kind of like, a, um, like that Wind Waker chest hair where it's just like a cute little whirl or something, that would totally work, but. Okay. Props for realism, we're... <laughs> going for it here. Uh, I think that is best. It's pretty risque. I don't know. Nintendo's not going to like this. All right, so which side has the tattoo? Is it this side? I think it's this side. Yeah. All right, so let's do like a little, little curly there. just it's hard to make things not incidentally connect kind of the thing I'm struggling with the most you love the back dimples <laughs> thank you the shoulder blades I don't think they're kind of obscured so I think we're fine just kind of ignoring them I feel like the back should be oh yeah maybe i should take this one out is that what you mean yeah maybe it should just kind of come down at an angle are you talking about the back dimples The skin tone what the skin tone down here like bring it all the way down the lighter part
Looks like his butt would be really high. Yeah, I could bring him down a smidge. I'm just trying to think of like the proportion of the Animal Crossing character a little bit. I don't know how the pants really sit on them, you know? I don't know, that kind of looks like crazy to me. Yeah, like I think maybe that's good. A leather jock strap as well. That would be, that would be, yeah, <laughs> be a lot. Oh my God, I'm still getting fucking follow notifications from the bot attack. So wild. All right, that seems pretty pared down. I think that's pretty good. I mean, it reads his tribal tattoo a little bit. Maybe... I just bring this in a little bit more. Okay, let's see how that looks. Fit plus harness. Oh. Please fit. Yeah, all right. It really just depends how it looks on the character, most of all. Okay, does not match my skin tone at all. Let me go inside.
Mm, let me take off the bag. Not too bad. Put on pants. I wish you could like tuck it in. <laughs> I wish I could have a tucked in shirt. I don't think, do I have the leather mask? I don't think I do. I could order one. Yeah, I guess it could be lowered a little bit. I mean, it's kind of a serve. Tucked in, we'd miss the happy trail. That's true. It's just the butt. Yeah, let's move the the back lines a little bit. Should be pretty easy. So basically, oh, that right? That's not right. I kind of want to sprinkle in a little bit more of this. Realism in the skin, darling. We don't all have perfect skin. At least I don't. Okay. Maybe armpit hair. Have a little bit of armpit hair sticking out. There we go. All right, he's looking pretty hunky. If 
If only I could get rid of that ribbed uh, neckline, then it would be perfect. All right, well, what do you think? Is the nipple ring throwing off the synergy? Should I just give him double nipple rings? Double rings. <laughs> double rings it is. We didn't use pink at all. I probably could go back and change these pinks into more flesh tones. And like, get a little more into it. To be determined. Not tonight. Oh, I also kind of lost the definition of the left peck over here. A little bit. Thanks to the tat. It's fine, though. How to use turnips. Uh, so turnips, you buy them on Sundays and you have to sell them by Saturday night. Um, you check Timmy and Tommy's shop and they'll tell you what they're buying them for. And your hope is that you buy them from Joan or uh, Daisy May for cheaper than you sell them to the the brothers. But sometimes you get a bad week and you just have to sell at a loss. But you don't ever want to time travel with turnips, is the thing. If you time travel with turnips, you're going to lose them. They're going to spoil. Oh my god, Floyd, thanks for the bit. Sorry, I didn't see it amongst the floods of follows. I just got... I got another bot attack. Somebody's really hitting me with bots. I guess they really don't like my harness. Up to 5,000 followers from 820 in one stream. Wow, I really hit the big... I hit the big league today, guys. Hit the big league today. I'll take a sip. Stay hydrated. Somebody saw me making a leather harness and just couldn't help themselves. They were so turned on. Hey, Sonardi. We're just about to end. Check out my leather harness that I just made. For my little dude. It's looking pretty spiffy. Looking tiny. I mean, he's a tiny little guy, so I guess it kind of fits, but... Seems a little tiny. Seems small. It's like really high up. It's like up here. <laughs> it's a little, a little interesting. It's all right though. All right, I'm ready for Pride. We'll pull this out during Pride. Got my the tattoo. I think is like the nice little twist. Got a lot done today or you would have joined early. Oh, it's all good. I was going to do viewer island visits, but I didn't really get that much uh, interest in it. So I just kind of did my own thing today. And this is what we ended up with. A leather harness. <laughs> That's what we ended up with. Wait. Did I not save the nipple ring on the second nipple? Pride is all year. This is true. Oh, it's because I didn't re-wear it. So it was still wearing the old version. Got it. Oh, whoops. Explicit stream. Oh yes, modeling.
Let's see, where's the, um, what's the pride? Where's pride? There it is. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Oh shit, 200 tickets. Hell yeah. All right, it looks cuter up close. All right, I'm selling it. I'm really selling it. <laughs> I'm gonna give Hazel, give her Hazel for free. Hazel's a cutie. All right, we're sleeping in the harness. Normally, I would not sleep in such ridiculous gear, but we're we're dead tired. We just did so much. We just came home and we passed out. We didn't even change into our PJs. We just, just couldn't take it. It was a long, hard day at the parade. The fair. Should I get some sleep? Yes. All right. If Zeb is still on, I'm gonna raid Zeb. He is still on. So I'm gonna go over to Zeb TTV. He's playing Mario Maker, doing viewer levels. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight, y'all. Thanks for sticking through the bot attack. <laughs> I'm sure I'll wake up in like three days, it'll be back down to where it should be, which is great. That's what I want. I don't want all this shit. I don't want all this garbage in my feed. But thanks for hanging out. Some of these names actually sound legit, too. I mean, obviously, I can't scroll through all of them. Ick, I think my favorite that I saw was Ickbine Hipster. Really like that one. But it's bedtime. Going over to Zeb TTV. When you get over there, just uh, whatever heart emotes you have. Less than threes virtual hugs. Any sub heart emotes or love emotes that you have are great. You can say Pinky loves you. You can spam hearts. Whatever you want to do. I appreciate anyone who joins in on the raid. Even if you raid and run. It's pretty late for me, so I'm probably going to raid and run myself. Um, but thanks for hanging out. Mwah, mwah. I might be back for Animal Crossing tomorrow night. I don't know. I kind of feel like I got some stuff done, but I could stand to do another day. If I don't do Animal Crossing tomorrow night, it's probably going to be Minecraft. So thanks, y'all. Sleep tight, sweet dreams so long. If it's morning or daytime for you, enjoy your day and good luck. I hope it's a good one. Y'all sleep well. I'll see you later. Oh, I'll definitely share the harness. I'll put the harness code in uh, my Discord, or I'll just post it in chat next time I'm on. Just remind me, Tom. Good night, y'all.